Hey, welcome to the second episode of my new series called What's in the Box? What's in the box? This is basically unboxing stuff because YouTube. Today we are going to unbox this. This is the Bose QC35 second generation. As you can see, these are high-end noise cancelling headphones. Apparently this lasts 20 hours per charge and 40 hours when you use the wire. So this is the box, as you can see, you have all the specs here. If you want, you can find them online. I bet most of you already know about these headphones, but uh, I uh, actually never try them. I try actually the first generation and I liked the comfort and I liked the noise cancelling, but Unfortunately, they created a pressure in my head and I could not wear them. I will give those a try since you all know what happened to my Sony's MDR-1000X. Click on the video there if you don't. So let's unbox them! And this slides. And here... The headphones mm, and some candy. Nice. This is some paper which I will probably not read, and this is the manual which I will not read. They come in a very nice case. Actually, I like it more than the one used for the Sony's. It's actually even. It's a bit smaller, so it's better for traveling. They both have this pouch behind which you'll never use. Well, let's see what's inside. And ta -da! Oh, they are very nicely packed. You have here the 3.5 millimeters cable. And this is the micro USB charger. Well, it's even smaller than the ones used for the by the Sony, and still it's micro USB, no USB Type C here because hey, why not? And have some pieces of foam to protect the headphones, and that's pretty much it. These are the headphones. There is no plain adapter like the Sony ones have, so goodbye to that. Oh, and the cable is so flimsy. I mean, look at this. It's so thin, if comparing to the Sony one, look at the difference in diameter. And these are the headphones. They look exactly like the first generation. You have here the charging port. This is where you plug in the headphones. I believe this is for the Google Assistant or for Siri. This is how you power them on. And these are the buttons to control the volume and so on. They are very light, I have to admit. And let's see how fast they can pair. So you have to turn them on. Oh look, they already appear here. And you have to click on them and they are connected you have a battery indicator here and of course they also come with the app they are very nice quality and they're very light here they have this alcantara type of fabric and artificial leather and even if they are all plastic they look quite nice and the cushion it's it's very soft and even the leather here is very soft and the Bose logo looks metallic and shiny as you can see they have a lot of microphones around for noise detection and let's see how they sound let's see with my ears
I don't know what they did, but they got rid of that cabin pressure I was feeling in my head. So these are very nice and they are very light and they sound nice and they even have a bass. Stay tuned for a full review on these. Subscribe. I will just keep listening to this. These are high-end, oops, not anymore. <laughs>